So objective number three, divine atresia. Atresia is a process of degeneration and resorption of mature ovarian follicles that do not reach maturity. So this one is a natural process. Let's not waste time. What can trigger hormonal imbalance? We also intrinsic factors and ovarian microenvironment can trigger atresia. Okay. And you might the various function of the ovaries. Very important. This is physiology. We just need to understand the basics. What is function of ovaries? It's a site of oocyte production. The ovaries, they are involved in hormone secretion, progesterone and estrogen. In the ovaries, that's where there is development of follicles. Other activities in the ovaries are ovulation, the release of an egg. They also support early pregnancies. And then they inhibit follicular development. So here you just have to talk about the activities happening in the ovaries. Now, which cells of the ovaries secrete estrogen and list any six function of estrogen? Okay, we've already mentioned that the... The granulosa cells of the ovarian follicles, they secrete estrogen. Okay, the estrogen was converted from androgen by what you call the aromatase enzymes. Okay, aromatase. The other site of estrogen production is the corpus luteum, although it mainly produces progesterone but it also produces estrogen what's the function of estrogen very important they should be on our fingertips regulation of the menstrual cycle i'm going to talk about the menstrual cycle later on development of secondary sexual characteristics uh, it is also involved in bone health that's why postmenopausal women suffer from osteoporosis because of decreased levels of estrogen. Estrogen has a protective effect on the heart. Lack of it results in increase in cholesterol, which may cause heart conditions. Estrogen has reproductive, uh, reproductive system maintained. Estrogen supports the health of the vaginal lining, cervix, and uterine lining. It also involved in fertility because it helps in the maturation of ovarian follicles. Which cells of the ovaries secrete progesterone? We have uh, progesterone comes from corpus luteum. Okay. What's the function of uh, progesterone? Prepares the endometrium for implantation, maintenance of pregnancy, regulation of the menstrual cycle. It also involved in breast development and also inhibition of uterine contraction and uh, involved in mucus production. Okay, in terms of uterine contraction, there's a drug which we call mifepristone. I'm sure you've heard of this drug. This drug is used to terminate pregnancy. It's used in medical abortion. Same applies with, don't confuse it with misoprostol. Misoprostol is a pro, prostaglandin analog. But mifepristone is the one that inhibits the action of progesterone. That's why it's able to, to be used to terminate pregnancy. Okay. What are the three forms of estrogen? Give their structures. So that is estrogen. Those are the three forms. They all have the same structure. That, stru that ring is called the, the steroid nucleus. Steroid nucleus. This one is called the steroid nucleus. It's also called cyclopentanol pehydrophenethrin because it's made up of three cyclohexene ring and one cyclopentane ring. 
Okay, in terms of potency, estradiol is the most potent and it is common in female who are in their reproductive years. Estron is it's also potent, but not more potent than estradiol. This is common in after menopause. And then estriol, this one is found in pregnancy. Okay. These scenarios I'm not going to explain in detail, but you should look at them at your own free time. So we have a 28-year-old woman <coughs> present to the clinic with complaints of irregular menstrual cycles. That's a presenting complaint. And difficulty conceiving for the past years. She mentioned that her periods occur every 35 to 45 days, meaning they are irregular and they are unpredictable. So we did some blood tests. We showed that she has low levels of estradiol. Okay. This is a estrogen which is pre present in, in the reproductive age group. But she has elevated levels of luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones. They are high. Where does estrogen come from? It comes from the ovaries. Where do luteinizing hormone and follicle stimulating hormones come from? They come from the anterior pituitary gland. They are high. Why? Because they are not being regulated. Because there's a problem with the site of estrogen production. That is the ovaries. Okay. Now, based on the physiology of the ovaries, what is the most likely underlying condition affecting this patient? Okay. The low levels of estro estradiol is because of... Uh, the, the, the follicles, they are not maturing such that they can produce estrogen. Okay. So this one, read more on what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome. The LOH are increased and the estrogen levels remain low. The last scenario was a 35-year-old woman reports to a gynecologist with symptoms of hot flashes, night sweats, decreased libido over the past several months. She has also noticed that her menstrual periods have become less frequent. Blood test reveals low estrogen levels and elevated FSH. What physiological changes in the virus might explain this patient's symptoms and what stage of reproductive life could this be? Okay, this is more like similar, but in this case, look at the presenting complaint. Hot flashes, night sweats, decreased libido. You are not interested in sex. You are not inter uh, you, are, you are sweating in the night and hot flashes. So these are typical symptoms of what you call menopause. Okay. So the ovarian function are dwindling. That's why the estrogen levels have become low. So the hot flashes, these are typical menopausal symptoms. So why is the FSH high? This is a compensatory response from the pituitary gland so that it can continue to stimulate the ovarian follicles, which are not too many because the ovarian uh, follicles have re reduced. Okay, so this has made the ovulation irregular. Okay. So you guys, this is where we end. Um, this is where we end. Thank you very much.